In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can basically um, send an email to your email list to, to the people that didn't open a specific email. So say you're running a campaign and you're wanting to promote a product launch or you have a product launch running, sorry, and you send an email out and only like 30% of the people open the email. Well, you have 70% of people that they may love, they may want to open your email. They just missed it for that time, whether it's a subject line, whether it's, it just, who knows? Like there's a million reasons why people don't open your email. A lot of times it is the subject line, but there's a lot of different issues and that doesn't really matter for this video purpose. But you want to capitalize on all the work you put into that email and send it again to the people that didn't open it. So Klaviyo is the greatest email marketing platform. However, they never make things super straightforward and um, it's actually not straightforward to, to send an email to the unopens. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do this. So you first go to over here on your sidebar, you go down to list and segments, and then we're going to want to create a new one and we're going to click segment. So you want to make sure that the segment name is, is pretty clear because you're going to be playing around with this in a sec. So unopens, I'm just going to pretend I'm doing a candle launch or something. Unopens candle fall. So we're going to go here and this, this does take a few steps. So, so definition, you want to click what someone has done or not done. Then you want to go here and you want to click received email at least once all over time. You can leave that. Then you want to add the campaign name. So you do have to know what campaign you want to clone um, before you go and make a new segment. So you, the first step is actually go to the campaign folder over here, choose the email that you had already sent, and then just take a note of what the name of the email is because you need to know the e name of the email here. So you click campaign name, and then I'm just going to basically just choose the first one here because it's just easy for me to give you an example. So you click the campaign name, then you click and what someone has done or not done. This time you, you're going to want to click opened email and you want to click here zero times. And then you want to click all over time. Then here again, campaign name. Then here, lastly, you want to click what someone has done or not done. They have clicked an email zero times all over time. And then again, campaign name. Okay. So if I just, this is pretend, but you can see here now we will have a segment. So it says 1800 random people. So we'll go back to email templates and I'll show you how to clone an email. Oops. So I'm going to go here and click clone and then you can title it however you want to. So for consistency, we can just put like fall candle 2022 and then click clone and then we're going to go here and click send to um, Halloween unopens. So you can see now we're very easily and quickly able to create a new list to send to that email that we have already created. And then you can, again, you can kind of go here and you can change the subject line if you want to. So this example was just a Halloween email, but you can come here and you can edit the subject line and make it more enticing for people. But it's actually really, really simple to come in here and make a few small tweaks and be able to resend to unopen. So you really want to be doing this for all of your email campaigns, just because again, you've already put in all the work and maybe your subject line just for some reason didn't resonate with people. Um, maybe the preview text didn't resonate with people. Maybe you sent it at a really weird time. So kind of take note of those things, but now you're able to pretty easily in Klaviyo 
resend to unopens. And if you thought this video was helpful, please go ahead and tap that subscribe button and let me know in the comments if you found this helpful. All right. Thanks guys.